Oh, what's going on guys, but it's all brother, and today I've got another episode of how to get better at Call of Duty. Now, in my last episode of this series, I did talk about gun skill, but if you missed that video, I'll be sure to link it in the description. Make sure you go watch it after watching this video. Hopefully that helps you, but with this one, as you can probably already tell by the title, it's going to be class setups. Now... It might seem really simple, and it really, really is, but I thought I'd make this video because it is definitely, 100%, in my opinion anyway, one of the key aspects to getting better at Call of Duty or becoming a good Call of Duty player. Now, let me talk about class setups real quick. You always want to have the upper hand when it comes to Call of Duty, especially with this game, with the new implementation of skill-based matchmaking. But I'll come to all, um, talk about skill-based matchmaking a little bit more in the future of this video, but now... You really want to have the upper hand, like I just said. Now, I did. I have done a lot of class setups. If you and again, if you guys have missed any of them, I'll be sure to leave a link to the playlist. Make sure you go watch them after after watching this video, because the reason for that is you really want to have the upper hand. So you want to be using the weapons that are actually good, like the best weapons in the game, because you really want to have the advantage when it comes to playing against the enemy team. Because there, for example, you, I mean, if you're not using the BAL or the ASM1 just getting started off, you're 100% lost. Guaranteed. Because, like, you're going to be coming up coming up against, like, BAL, ASM1, people who are trying hard. Because let me talk about skill-based matchmaking real quick. You really ain't going to come up against noobs. It's hard to say. I really wish I could do. But you really ain't going to come up against noobs. So the point is, people are going to be trying hard. And people are going to be using the weapons that are good for them. Which means that's going to be, like, the ASM1. SM1, the BAL, the best two weapons in the game. So you want to be doing that, you know. You don't want to have a slight disadvantage when it comes to this, especially when you're wanting to do to do good and try to get better at the game. Now, like I said, I have done best class setups, and I'll leave a link to the playlist. Make sure you go and create some of them classes. See how they work for you. Preferably the BAL best class setup. Preferably the ASM1 best class setup. But now, not only that, you need to learn the classes you need to learn the perks what are the best perks to use especially depending on which game mode you're using because there's a variety of different game modes and you really need to know like what because like you're going to change up your class depending on what game mode you're playing so like you know certain game modes you might switch up you know your attachments maybe you'll switch up your perks you need to learn the perks how they work how they work in different situations same with the weapons you really do need to learn all of this stuff but it doesn't come with just researching the game it really it's not like it's not like homework guys it just comes with like just playing the game you really do learn the perks when it comes with playing the game because obviously like it, it's just kind of simple really when a new call of duty comes out you have to learn the new perks that have been implemented into that game and it just comes with playing really it really just does come with you know it comes over time so if you guys do that you definitely will have the best classes you know you, you kind of learn off of what other people are using as well really like you're seeing some kill cams you see oh that weapon looks pretty good that weapon drops me real quick i'm gonna try that weapon out and that's kind of how you know a big theme of weapons comes around that's why people start only using one weapon because they see what other people are using they try it out for themselves and they realize why haven't i been using that weapon they try it out and it's absolutely amazing that's what happened with the battle that's what happened with the asm1 after the patch is all this it's really it's it's, it's kind of just switching up a little bit man it's really make the best classes and you will well you should have an advantage over some people you know some people who really don't have a clue what they're doing but you know you'll you'll be on the same wavelength with other people that you're coming up against matches in so you won't have a disadvantage when it comes to playing you know, if you want to be a better Call of Duty player, you want, you want to use the weapons that are fitting for that purpose, right? So that's why you should be using, really, let me give you a quick tip right here. You should be using, like I've said throughout this whole video, you should be using the BAL, the ASM1. Honestly, if you want to use a good weapon, I recommend using one of them too. Because, look, I'm an absolutely annihilating with the BAL right now. As I say that, I die. But either, either way, I was annihilating with it. The BAL is definitely the way to go for longer ranges. Now for shorter ranges, medium to shorter ranges, you want to use ASM-1. Bowels, alright for medium ranges, it's really good for medium ranges, but, you know, choose which one you want for different play styles as well, because I've just been going on about different weapons right here, but honestly, class setups means a lot, it really does, so make sure you're not putting yourself at a disadvantage, learn what perks you need to use, what kill streaks you need to use, what weapons you need to use, all that sort of stuff for different situations, it really, really will help.
They even try elite variations of weapons like, you know, variations that might have more damage, all that sort of stuff because they're probably going to be better than the original version and that might give you a slight advantage when it comes to playing against the enemy team. Like I said guys, being a, using a good setup, you know, you really don't want to have a disadvantage when it comes to playing Call of Duty and using the best class possible will definitely definitely help that but now i've probably just told you guys the obvious you know you guys probably already know this to use the best class you possibly can to become a better call of duty player but the point is you know these people out there maybe people who don't know what they're doing and i want to help those people and hopefully this helps now basically i'm kind of the same really like where i get my class setups from i get my class setups from better people than me like for example Optic Nature, Optic Scumpy, all those sort of people, you know, who use the best classes possible because they don't want to be putting themselves at a disadvantage, you know, the pro players, they want to win, so I kind of copy their classes, put them into pubs, and they work amazingly, but basically, guys, what I'm trying to say is, use the best class possible, and you will become a better Call of Duty player, 100% guys, hope this helps. Alright guys, that is the end of my video, hopefully you enjoyed, if you did, make sure you go and hit that like button, it's always really, really appreciated, and also, whilst you're there, could you just go and smash that subscribe button, it would be really appreciated, on the road to 500 subs, so it would really, really help, and you also can watch my videos whenever I upload them, it's been me, brothers, and I know in this video I've probably been pointing out the obvious to most of you guys, but the point is, some people might not know, you know, I mean, the point of this series is to list the key aspects to becoming a better Call of Duty player. So some people, this may help. I know to a lot of you guys, you know, you already know what you're doing in most things. And you already know what you're doing when it comes to this. But some people might not. And that's the main point of this series. So yeah, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Make sure you go follow me on Twitter. The link to that will be in the description. And also, I finally prestige. Check me out. Level 31 already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.